I'm joined in the studio now by Ona Kurto Grapero. She's a coordinator for the pro independent CUP party. Ona, good to have you with us. You. Um, Mariano Rajoy says independence is something that few Catalans want and it wasn't a democratic vote. What do you say to that? <laughs> I think it's quite wrong because two million people demonstrating every year since many years, um, I can say 2012, but many years before as well, 2009, 2010, um, it's a huge number of people. Mm, less than 50% though, the turnout was only 42%. Well, so it's not right, is it, when Carlos Puigdemont says he has a mandate for independence? I think he is quite right and I think um, we are playing with different numbers. Um, I would say also that um, there's a huge demand of people uh, taking things quite correctly. So um, if you are saying about these numbers of the last referendum in one, first of October, uh, there were contexts there that couldn't allow us to make it as much better as possible. So we still don't know as the perfect numbers to know who will support independence. You're saying that there were problems voting because of the actions of, of the police. Yeah, of course. But the, the fact is that that entire referendum uh, was declared illegal. The Constitutional Court said it was illegal. Mm -hmm. So it shouldn't have gone ahead in the first place. So my question remains, when Carlos Puigdemont says he has a mandate for independence, is he correct? It is, he is correct, because of he had the mandate of the Catalan people. You are saying that uh, we, that referendum was illegal by the Spanish court, but was really said in the terms of the Catalan law that was approved in our Catalan parliament, and also it was validated by many international observers that were there and see how it was developed and uh, taking care of everything. So it was quite legal for us. But this is something that has now plunged Spain into a huge political crisis and there is a massive division, not just across the country, but in Catalonia as well. Surely this isn't what you wanted. This division, it's something that everyone st are talking about now, but um, I think the division came in not only in politics and not only in these issues, but also in economics, also in education, also in many, many other terms. So... I think this division is in Spain from, from many, many years, not only in Catalonia, Basque country, Andalusia country as well, also Galician. So I think uh, the Spanish government uh, are not uh, putting any effort to answer politically, as you said, as a political uh, issue to these kind of questions. Good to have you with us. Thank you very much indeed for that. Ona Curta Grapera there.